Hey guys, welcome to another top 10 list and welcome to my top 10 cartoons I grew up with. Yes, I thought in this video I'd just talk about my childhood. I grew up in the 90s, I was born in 1991, and I watched a lot of television shows as a child. A lot of live action shows and a lot of cartoons, especially cartoons. Loved cartoons as a kid. And I thought I'd talk about just some cartoons I personally grew up with. Uh, these aren't like cartoons I watch now. Some of them are, but these are cartoons only as I watched as a child. Even some cartoons that came out in the 90s and I love now, Not it's not necessarily that I watched it as a child. Like uh, Batman the Animated Series, I watched a bit as a kid, but I watched it more as a teenager. So that's like a show I watched more as a teenager. Even Daria, Daria came out when I was a child, but I watched it more as a teenager and grew to love it as an adult more than as a child. So these are just the shows that I watched the most as a child. Like, if you went to, like, 9-year-old or 10-year-old me, these are the shows I'd be talking about, and these are the shows I would be watching or binge-watching if that was if that existed. If Netflix existed as when I was a kid, these are the shows I'd be watching as a child. So these are the top 10 cartoons I grew up with. All right, so let's get to it. Come to number 10. Is Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold is a Nickelodeon television show that I loved. I watched it on YTV, which is a Canadian television station that played a lot of cool cartoons, classics and new ones and stuff. Hey Arnold was one of my favorite shows to watch after I was done school. From when I was in grade two to grade, uh, I'd say grade two to grade six, I watched Hey Arnold every single day at 4.30 after school. It was a funny show, great characters, as a character with a football head. It's basically about a kid and his f friend Gerald and how they live through elementary school. That's it. There's a lot of different stories. Um, what makes me even love it still to this day is how like relatable this show is to a lot of people. Because Arnold is not like a rich kid. He's not like a kid that lives in the suburbs or anything. He's a kid that lives in like a housing, like... He lives in a house with his grandparents, and they live with a bunch of different people. They live with, like, eight, other, like four other families and stuff, and they're all, like, immigrants and stuff. Like, it's a very interesting show, and it shows a lot about poverty and stuff, and it's basically about elementary school kids in the ghetto. It's kind of interesting and really funny and stuff, uh, but a lot of uh, things they did in this show is stuff I did as a kid. Kids nowadays don't do it. Kids don't play hockey in the middle of the street or play baseball in the middle of the street. Uh, kids don't do certain pranks like they do in the show. Like, this is a straight 90s show for people who were born in the 90s. If you were a kid in the 90s, this is a television show you can relate to and just love. And every kid that I know who grew up in the 90s knows the show Hey Arnold and loves the show Hey Arnold. And I love it. Move it, football head. <laughs> Number nine is Animaniacs. I loved this show as a kid. Uh, they're coming out with a remake. I'm still skeptical on it. It looks fantastic. I will give it that. It looks good. It looks funny. It looks interesting. The animation's good. I'm still a little skeptical because I'm not a big fan of just remaking shit. That's just not like my thing. Like, I, I am all for new ideas and stuff. Animaniacs was already great. You don't need to bring it back, but I love Pinky and the Brain and all these side characters. And Animaniacs was a unique show. Uh, it was created, it was produced by uh, Steven Spielberg and a lot of amazing writing team, and it has a lot of great shorts. It's about, yeah, Wacko, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, and it's about Pinky and the Brain and other side characters. This is a terrific show. It has a lot of great skits. It's almost like Saturday Night Live, but for cartoons and for kids. Like, that, that's what it is. It's like SNL for cartoons. It's very funny, very enjoyable. Uh, the good idea, bad idea is always, like, one of my favorite skits in the show. Anything with Pinky and the Brain was amazing. Like, try to take over the world. So, like, I love Pinky and the Brain. And the slapstick, the movie references, all sort of crazy jokes they can just throw at you. The zaniness and the wackiness of Animaniacs is something I always loved as a kid. And still to this now, I haven't really rewatched it in a long time, but I've watched many clips, and it's still a fucking hilarious show, and... One of my favorite cartoon shows that I grew up with. Number eight is DuckTales. As I just said about remakes, don't remake things. I will fully admit, though, that the remake that is out now is better than this show. It is. It's fantastic. It's terrific. 
They got David Tennant. He's amazing. Like that show is fantastic. It's a great show. But I'm talking about the 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 '90s Ducktales because I grew up with this show. Like uh, this was childhood for me. Every morning I watched this show. Uh, whether it was on the Disney Afternoon or the Family Channel or White TV or something, I watched DuckTales almost every morning. And I watched like Chippendales, Rescue Rangers and stuff, but not as much as DuckTales. The adventures, uh, Scrooge McDuck goes on with his nephews, Huey, Dewey, uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Is that their fucking names? I forget their names always. Really good. Uh, it's like almost like an Indiana Jones but put into a cartoon and with ducks instead of humans. It's funny. It's enjoyable. It's action packed. It's badass, And I can't believe I'm saying it, but the remake is actually better. But DuckTales is a cartoon. I grew up with a lot. Coming to number seven is a cartoon. I watched so much. I fucking loved it, but, uh, but I hate it now, but I loved it as a kid. That's Pokemon. Pokemon is, like, if you would have asked younger self, my younger self, this would have been like one of my favorite shows of all time. I hate it now because I, I just don't think it's good. I, I I truly believe people like Pokemon because of nostalgia, not because it's creative or even has good storytelling. Uh, I get their fun games. I get their enjoyable and stuff. There's a lot of interesting, cute Pokemon. I love this kid. Like, I, I loved watching Pokemon. I collected the Pokemon cards. I, I did all that stuff in school. I, 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 I loved Pokemon as a kid. I grew up with Pokemon. Just, I, I, I don't understand the love now. And, like, people, especially when Pokemon Go was a thing. I don't know if that's a thing now, but that was a huge thing. And, my God, that was, like, a fad that, that lasted, like, a year and stuff. But so many people were doing it. I didn't follow the trend because I'm not a Pokemon fan now. Even Detective Pikachu that came out, la uh, what was it, last year? Wasn't a fan. Just not a Pokemon fan, but as a child, loved it. Uh, number six, Digimon. Digimon's another show that I don't think is all that great, but again, as a kid, I loved it. I grew up with this. This is just childhood for me was Digimon. Watching after school on the YTV lineup, and I loved Digimon. I also collected the Digimon cards and traded Digimon cards. It's just... I loved it. However, I will say Digitamers, I think that's season three of Digimon, is pretty fucking solid. It's a really good show. But season one and two, which is the seasons I watch the most, it's not very good. Not at all. Uh, season four is trash. Season five almost stole my idea of what I had for Digimon as a child, but that was just a fan-made thing. But I love Digimon as a child. As of now, it's dated, it's corny, it's silly, it's a mess. Number five... I'm sticking with the card ones. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when Yu-Gi-Oh! came out when I was about 9 years old, and from when I was about 9 years old till I was about 15, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! I thought it was a great fucking show. I collected the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Like I went from Pokemon cards to Digimon cards to Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. And now I don't give two rats ass about any of these franchises, but Yu-Gi-Oh! was the thing I loved. I loved the characters. I loved the certain like holographic monsters that spawned when you played the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I loved characters like Yu-Gi and Bakura, and Merrick, and Seto Kaiba, like, yeah, I just loved it, and the creativeness, and the ambition, and the ambition of the show, and even some of the video games were really cool, I just, I really enjoyed it, but as of now, I don't think it's a very good show, but again, as a child, loved it. Top four, number four, Futurama. This was the, the show I watched as a kid, but I knew it was for adults, but I loved it even more as a child, because I knew it was for adults. Like, like, I started watching Family Guy at, like, 13, so I, I don't consider that quite a kid. It's, like, a teenager and stuff. But Futurama, I watched for, like, when it came out. I was, like, nine years old when this show first came out, and I loved it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was creative. It had these, like, silly, raunchy jokes, and I just thought it was fantastic. This is, like, like, and I was allowed to watch it, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm allowed to watch this show. It's, like, so rude and everything. Like, it's great. I don't even understand all the jokes, but this is amazing. And it's created by Matt Gronin, who did The Simpsons and stuff, and I loved it. I loved all the characters of Fry, Leela, Bender, Zoidberg. I'm going for a couple. Uh, I loved it. And even still to this day, I think it's a very good show. I think it has a good ending, has good movies, and it didn't overstay its welcome like Family Guy and Simpsons did. I think it's a very good run of a show, and it's very good. Um, I wish there were some episodes that were cut and some things that they made about the show that I just thought I think they should have just got rid of. 
But I love this. I think it's still a great show. And I always thought Zap again was the most hilarious, idiotic character ever on television. He is, I still stand by it. Probably the most funniest, dumb character ever. Just so funny. It's Futurama. Grew up with it. Still love it. Number three, Gargoyles. Thank God for Disney+. Plus. When Disney Plus came on, the very first movies I watched was like Cool Runnings and the Mighty Ducks. Because as soon as Disney Plus came out, I wanted a nostalgia trip. I didn't want to watch the new stuff because I rewatched it. It's the new stuff, and I had a lot of them on Blu-ray. So I wanted nostalgia trips. So I watched like the Mighty Ducks movies, and I watched Cool Runnings, and watched some other stuff. But then the first show I watched was Gargoyles. I haven't watched Gar Gargoyles in like 12 years, and I grew up with this. This was like childhood for me watching Gargoyles. And then when I rewatched it, I wanted to know if it still hold it up. Because like shows like Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, and Pokemon, I grew up with. That was childhood for me, but they don't hold up. Gargoyles still holds up. All the characters all hold up. The writing still holds up. The animation is still spectacular. Hand-drawn animation. It's an amazing show with a great mythology, great story, great pace. Great for kids, great for adults, and it's just amazing. It's on Disney Plus right now. Check it out. Number two, The Simpsons. Easily The Simpsons. Um, like I said about Futurama, but double that for Simpsons. Simpsons I've watched... As much, as, it goes so far back, I don't even remember. Like, I remember watching this at, like, six years old. And I never understood barely any jokes, but I still loved The Simpsons. And I still do. I still watch The Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. I still watch it. Mostly the old episodes, like, seasons, like, one to, like, 14 or something. <laughs> the, the, the episodes I grew up with. Like, The Simpsons is still my childhood. And I still consider it one of the greatest comedic shows of all time. When they had write it, writers like Sam Simon, Matt Groening, James L. Brooks, and Conan O'Brien, that's when Simpsons was at its best. And I still stand by it's one of the greatest cartoons ever made. Even though it's gone on for way too long and it's not funny anymore, but still, I digress. Number one, though, is Dragon Ball Z. If you would have asked me as a child from like 5 to 13, I would have given you the same answer of what my favorite television show of all time was. And that's Dragon Ball Z. Is it my favorite show now? No, but it's close. I fucking love this show. This is one of the greatest animes ever. Yes, Cowboy Bebop's a better anime, but like as a as a show I watch the most, and a show I will always and continue still to support and love, it's Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball's good. Dragon Ball GT is crap. Dragon Ball Super is pretty good too, but Dragon Ball Z is the fucking shit. I've talked a lot about it. I've done rankings and top tens on season stuff. You can check all check all that out. But if you if you ever want to know, like, was the number one show I grew up with and I still love, Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, that was my top ten cartoons I grew up with. Grew up with personally. So in the comments section below, please tell me because I know I have a wide spectrum of different people and different generations of people that are subscribed to me. So I want to know what are the ten cartoons that you grew up with as a child. Give me lots of opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side. <laughs>